guys, it's Reese. Probably wondering who is this guy? I vaguely remember him. <laughs> or maybe I thought I got rid of him, but um, I'm back making a video for the Philly Sports Show, September 2023. Um, had a great time. The reason I'm making this video, I guess I'll get to that first, is I, um, I spent a bunch of time with Mike uh, on Saturday, a little bit on Friday, but uh, you know, he was just kind of busting my chops while making a video. It's been so long and um, you know, we were laughing about that and I, I said, man, I really need to make a video. And other people have obviously encouraged me too. So I, I need, I feel I need to shout out like, you know, Alex and Don and Nina, <laughs> uh, Ed, Wesker Griff. Um, you've all encouraged me um, over the last few months to make a video. So I definitely appreciate that. I actually feel a little guilty making this one as my first one back <laughs> from the card show uh, because I've gotten a couple great care packages that I want to do Max video on and, and haven't done that and so I kind of feel a little guilty making another sports card video after the Philly show but here we go <laughs> um, like I said I had a great time I went Friday um, from like 1 o'clock till 7 o'clock it's been a good time there uh, had some great pickups that day Went again Saturday for probably four four hours or so um, before I had to leave. Spent a bunch of time with Mike on Saturday, walking around a couple hours, I think. Um, saw B. Roth at his uh, booth and talked to him a little bit. Was also able to meet um, Sammy Thunder. That was really awesome. I had never met Sammy before. Subscribed to his channel. Really great guy. So, Sammy, it was absolutely wonderful meeting you. Hopefully I get to see all of you. Um, in December so my first pickup I want to show is actually a little bit out of the norm um, you know I collect Phillies but I also collect you know baseball history is what I like to say now and this one just jumped out of me I had no plans on buying you know a 1974 Topps Decalage <laughs> when I went to the show believe it or not but I saw this and um, it's a really cool set it was a test issue you know, up in uh, New England in the Massachusetts area. Um, I guess, I mean, you could find them. They're just, you know, they're not as, as popular. You don't see them as much. But it was a test issue. Uh, this is Carlton Fisk. I just thought the image was so cool. The decal edge. Uh, there are actually proofs of this set as well. Without the decal edge or scalloping. They're a little harder to find. But um, there was also a, a test of that as well. So... These come in black or what? I'm sorry, gray or white back. This is the gray back. Cool thing about these cards is that it actually gives you a little blur about the player, but it also tells you the date and where the photo was taken. So, Carlton Fisk, Boston Red Sox catcher at the Oakland Coliseum on the 16th day of June, 1973. Just a pretty cool early card of Carlton Fisk. Um, if you're looking for this set. It, it's only a 72 card set, but there are 23 Hall of Famers. Some really great names in there. Steve Carlton and Gibson and Hank Aaron and Bench, Rose, Yaz. So just a really cool pickup that I caught my eye. Could not pass that up because of the image. I picked up a couple aspirins for the PC. Uh, the first, I needed a 1954 Redman uh, with tab. <laughs> Um, I do have the 52 and 53, so I still need the 54, so I picked this up. Great example. I um, was really happy to add that to the collection. I also picked this up on the way out on Saturday. Um, I had not added a Burke Ross of Aspirin to my Aspirin Runner collection, the 51 or the 52. And I saw this card a couple of times on Friday, again, talking to Mike on Saturday, and this card came up and I said, man, I, yeah, I actually don't have a Burke Ross. And so on the way out, I stopped and, and picked this up. So really happy to add this 51 Burke Ross of Aspirin to my run. Um, next couple of cards are just a lot of fun. I love uh, lately the Wheaties. So this is the 52 Wheaties. I love the 51 and 52 and the premiums. But I'm just slowly picking up uh, the Wheaties. I, I really like it. Even if they're not well cut, I like the blue border around them. So I picked this up for 
a good price, and he threw in real cheap this uh, really bad cut risotto. But really happy to get this Ralph Kiner. Again, fantastic Hall of Famer. Home run leader, like seven years. Six-year All-Star. So just a great player. And uh, excited to add that to my, my little Wheaties collection I'm compiling. Uh, this is a card I've been looking for, really, since I went to Cooperstown. Um, you know, Rod Carew, I, I did not have a Rod Carew in the collection. I think, again, another all-time great of baseball in baseball history. One of the best hitters ever. And uh, at the Cooperstown, you know, he was on the wall there and had a, a cool quote from him uh, where he said his favorite song was a national anthem. And they asked him why. And he said, well, whenever I hear that song... I know I'm going to get two or three hits that day. So I just love that quote. I thought, man, I need a Rod Carew in my collection. This one uh, is centered so well on the front. I, I have been looking for a long time now, actually, and just for one that's centered. And um, this is the best one I've seen. Ironically, it was at the show. Now, the back is not. The back is off a little bit, but I'm okay with that. The front is just really almost spot on, to be honest. So... Really love picking up that card. Happy to add that. Uh, this next was an oddball pickup here. <laughs> and um, there's a, a guy at the show uh, who has really cool Phillies items. I've, I have another one here as well. Uh, I'll show next. But uh, I picked this up. It was $7. This is Hans Lobert, who, you know, managed for the Phillies, played for the Phillies as well. But just one of these names that I, I learned to love and uh, learn about from glory of their times um, if you haven't read or listened to the audio is my favorite part uh, he's in there a lot hilarious guy um, again you know I, I I saw this photo and I thought man I, I'd love to have that of Hans uh, in a Phillies uniform I'd love to get his uh, play ball 40 play ball he's also in the Phillies and really the card I want of Hans Lobert is his T205 I love that card. So, also in the Phillies uniform that year. But, uh, cool guy. Uh, go to other times. Also, he's in a... He's also, I don't know if you'd say made famous, but there's a movie called Big Leaguer. And, um, Edward G. Robinson plays Hans Lobert. But it's a pretty cool baseball movie. I'm not going to say I recommend it. Go out and find it. You know, if you don't if run across it, fine. I liked it. I enjoyed it. But it's about uh, spring training for the New York Giants. And he's, you know, leading the spring training and, and the scouting for all the young players coming to spring training. And um, it's just a really cool movie. It's a fictional um, movie about a player that comes in and his dad doesn't even know he's there. Uh, but he's trying out and, you know, he eventually makes the, the spring roster. Uh, there's a little, <laughs> a little typical 50s movie love romance in there, you know, but... I, lo I like the movie a lot. Uh, Carl Hubbard makes an appearance in there as well. So, pretty cool movie. Wanted to pick up that Hans Lobert. Really uh, enjoyed picking up his stuff. Um, from that same vendor, I picked up this autographed exhibit of Jim Constani, the fireman, 1950 Whiz Kids and National League MVP of 1950. So, um, I'm doing a run of the 1950 Whiz Kids autographs or signed photos is what I'm trying to do in 8x10s. Um, I'm making some exceptions for some of the harder ones. I need about six or seven players from the roster still and and about four of their coaches. But I'm making really good progress. It's been a couple of years actually. But I'm down to some hard to find autographs of uh, some not so popular players. I've, I, um, so it's... It's, it's, it's fun. I uh, look for these and great to have this. I do have another uh, smaller image of him with an autograph, but picked this up for that album putting together. Also pick up the 1950 League National League Championship team card. That was pretty cool. Nice clean back on it, but just a great WizKids team card there. Couldn't pass that up. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Point that out to me. I also picked this up from another vendor. This is a 1948 uh, Philadelphia Bulletin stand-up. Interesting the red folding part at the bottom, but 
It's actually autographed by Johnny Blotnick, who was also a whiz kid. So I thought this was really cool. I'm going to put this in my whiz kids signed album as well. So I'm picking that up. And my last pickup was this 1948 Leaf of Dell Ennis. Uh, I've been looking for this card. This was $10 <laughs> because the back is written on and such. But, you know, it's actually not too bad. Uh, not too badly centered. It's hard to find centered. But I thought for $10, there's no way I'm gonna, going to leave that behind, right? So those are my pickups for the Philly show. Um, again, had a blast. Can't wait till December to go again. My next video is going to be some care packages that I got from a couple of awesome people in the community, thanking them and uh, their appreciation to them. Um, and again, thanks everyone. If you catch this video, really appreciate it. Have a good one.